Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben today, and I've got packs from one of my favorite sets of all time, 1991 score. The largest set ever released, I think 893 cards total. I've got three packs from Series 1 and four packs from Series 2. Um, the reason I like this set, not because of its rarity, there are four, four or five million of these produced, but there are a lot of subsets, so there's a lot of fun, interesting cards in there beyond just the base cards. And they're all interesting looking and uh, interesting topics. So um, a lot of Nolan Ryans you can pull from here. A lot of, you know, um, you know the, the players I co collect, and there are multiple of each of those guys in here. Sean Dunstan even has a few in here that beyond his base card. So, um, you know, it's always fun to pull these out, and they're interesting looking cards. And like I said, lots of different cards in here. So we'll see what we get. Plus, there's a chance that we could pull one of those Mickey Mantle inserts or even a Mickey Mantle autograph out of these cards. Um, I did do that one time when I was a kid, and I don't have it anymore, but uh, it'll be fun to pull that again. So, very old, tired of these lenticular trivia cards. So, we'll get rid of those and see what we get. And our color coded Fleer or Score Madness. There's Wade Boggs about to connect the ball. So, that's a good one to start with. Off to a good start, better than we did with Fleer Ultra not too long ago. And that's about it there. All right, we'll do all the series one first. Oh, and there's a Ryan Sandberg for you right away coming out of here. I've got a lot of these in my collection, but I'll take it. So that'll go there. There's a Bo Jackson. Looking good there. Who knows Bo? Score knows Bo. And now I know Bo. A lot of rookies in here too. They That's why they pumped up the set size so much. They have so many rookie prospects. Like I said, plus the subsets. There's Paul Molitor kicking us off with this pack. Ozzy Canseco, Bert Blylevin, who is a Hall of Famer, although not someone anyone gets terribly excited about. Let's take a look at those stats for a second, though. See what we got here for Bert. He's played a long time. He's got 279 wins, lifetime ERA 327, and 3,631 strikeouts. I mean, those are good numbers, but not because he was... I mean, he was just consistent. He played for a ton of teams for a long time, consistently putting up some decent numbers, but just never had, like he had, you saw in there, he had one 20 win year. I don't know, man. This guy's like that where I guess part of the name of the game in baseball is just that consistency and being able to perform day in and day out and keep going for years and years. I Maybe mean, that does deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Although, like, I think about normal jobs, like in my office, if you're in the same job, performing consistently for 20 years, you're not doing it right, man. <laughs> so, in any case. Now we're on to Series 2. Let me find some good stuff in here. Pew. There's a Dream Team Randy Myers looking very angry, staring down the camera. There's a Will Clark Franchise card. So nothing fancy, but a couple things that are you know, at least worth looking at. So far, this really hasn't been very good. I feel like I get on a bad luck streak or something in these packs recently. Rona. Oh, look at that. There's the Ryan Sandberg Man of the Year card. I have quite a few of these in my collection, but they are, since they're such they're black borders, they're actually hard to keep in good shape. So glad to have a very pristine one here. Really well centered. And let's see if I can maybe keep it in great shape. And get it into uh, a, a plastic. Holy cow! There you go, Chipper Jones. That's probably the I think the best card in general from this uh, series too. He looks pained, pained in that picture there. But um, that is his number one draft pick, rookie card for scores. Probably the best one in here. So there you have it. So that was a good pack. Getting that man of the year plus the Chipper Jones. Now we'll just pull a Mickey Mantle and all will be well, right? All right, let's do it. 
Dave Parker, particularly happy about that one. Yeah. Dan Wilson. Put that aside too, why not? Oh, and look at that. Nolan Ryan, no hitter number seven. Right there for a very viewing pleasure. So I'll put that in my personal collection too. So all right. You know, anytime that I have a little session here, there's a straw man. Um, Daryl Strawberry. Anytime that I can pull three cards from my personal collection from a handful of packs, it's, it's a pretty good set. So very happy about that. Really happy to have added those. There's Kirby Puckett's Dream Team. Have added those uh, Nolan Ryans I got from that Universal Treasures box. Uh, really happy to have added those to my collection too, those older ones. Oh, look at that double man of the year. So this one, also pretty well centered, maybe a little bit left right, but uh, we'll add that one too. And so now I've got two chances of keeping some good cards in, uh, in good shape for my collection. And that'll do it. So there you go. Couple man of the year, a Ryan Saver base card, no hit Nolan Ryan, Pocket, Strawberry, Chipper Jones, Fly 11, Molitor, Bo Jackson. Uh, Dan Wilson, number one draft pick, and Wade Boggs. That'll do it for 1991 score, and we'll see you later.